Looks like I'm watching somebody while he sleeps again. Funny how that always ends up. Uh -huh. Hey guys, playing some home sweet home. I'm in a completely different place than I thought I was. Who? Boy, this is, yeah, a criminal's mad people. <laughs> right, right. Pardon me. I guess I'll just leave. Where was I? I was in a house. Oh, yeah. I was in not just any house, but the house. Hey, lady. Go and check on your husband. He's sleeping. What a lazy bones. Yeah. I know, your husband. What a charge thrift. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I don't know, you guys. I'm a little off form. I guess that's what happens. <laughs> but now I'm really in somebody's house so I can look on a door frame. I don't know, but... <laughs> Whatever. Hey, if I put this up in actual, like, time that I make it, which I already failed to do, then I could get some suggestions, but since I'm... Oh, jerk! Oh, wait. Hmm. Hmm. Angus changed the access code. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Angus changed the access code to the bank vault again with an easier to remember one. Like the day and month of my birthday. What an idiot! My birthday was just three days ago and he didn't remember it at all. Things are going from bad to worse between us. We almost never talk to each other anymore. Angus wanted a baby, but it's not happening, and he acts as if it's my fault. We spoke again with Dr. Webb, and he patiently repeated for the umpteenth time that there is no way for now to ascertain if one of us is infertile. The only thing we can do is keep on trying and hope for the best. We could buy a baby in the walled quarter. I know, it sounds horrible. However, on the one hand, they say that some people over there are so poor that they can't even feed their children. And on the other hand, people like us can't have their own babies. But it's useless to even talk about it. I should give my honorable name to a lousy bastard. Have you forgotten about the ancient noble family I belong to? That was his answer when I dared to propose it. Ha! <laughs> he and his highly praised lineage. If it wasn't for my father's money, which allowed him to save the bank from collapsing, he would now have nothing, just like the poor miserable people that he despises so much. I feel so unhappy. It's almost summer, but nothing ever changes in this quarter. No flowers, no children's voices on the streets. You don't even hear a barking dog. People don't want pets anymore. They're too busy to care about plants, and no one is having children. Lord, what's happening to us? This place seems to be dying. Angus is getting ready to go out. He's gotten in the habit of passing the whole weekend at the XX... Wow, that's, that's some name. It's a so-called gentleman's club, but I suspect it is nothing more than a luxury brothel. I'm not going to sit in a corner and wait for his return this time. I saw a poster which publicized a Burrick race, and I intend to go to see it. I've always liked Burricks, but it's very rare, if not unheard of, to see one in our well-behaved district. The race takes place in the walled quarter, which they say is a bad area, so I'll have to be prudent. I asked Loretta to give me one of her dresses, and I will wear a simple cloak and no jewels, so I will look like a humble maid. Finally, a little amusement for me, too. What a wonderful night! I arrived at the walled quarter a little too early, so I took a walk around it. The place is amazing. There are ruins everywhere, and plenty of plants and flowers all around, even if no one seems to take care of them. It's as if Mother Nature has taken over there. Groups of children run in the streets, playing until dark. Obviously, they are poor, but still, they seem so happy in spite of it all. They say that this is a gangland, but fortunately, no one molested me in any way. Then I went to see the Burrick races. Oh, Lord, that was fun! There was a young man sitting near me who encouraged me to wager on Big Joe, and I won. Of course, I didn't need the money, and yet I was as happy as a little girl. I plan to return there next weekend. Well, unless Angus suddenly changes his habits, which is not likely to happen. Big Joe brings me luck. I won again and again. The young man I met last Saturday was there once again. He kept on encouraging me and smiling at my joy. When the race ended, I was overheated and thirsty, so we stopped at the weary taffer for a drink. We went on talking for more than an hour. I almost forgot that I had to return home. I think that Laurent, that's his name, is some kind of guard, since he's all dressed in black like many other men and women around there. Must be sort of a uniform, I guess. Anyway, I didn't reveal my true identity. I told him that I work as a maid in a noble's house, which I prefer to not mention since I come here in disguise. Better to be prudent, you never know. Three days have passed since it happened. 
and I still haven't had the courage to write about it in the diary. I feel so ashamed, so guilty, but at the same time I feel so happy and I feel even more ashamed for being happy. My only excuse is that I drank too much. Maybe that's only a way to justify what happened. I should have known from the first time I met him that it would end this way. I should have stopped going to the walled quarter every Saturday. I should have refused to go with him to his apartment, but I didn't. I should make myself never go to the walled quarter again, but I can't. Good lord, this is my punishment. I am pregnant, I'm sure of it now. I wish I had a place to hide. I wish to go away, no matter where. How will I find the courage to look Angus in the eye and confess the truth? Dear me, what am I to do? I'm calm now, and I've made my decision. It was hard, as I've always been an honest and sincere person, so the idea of deceiving Angus disgusts me. Even the thought of Laurent, who will never know why I suddenly disappeared from his life, makes me suffer. Who knows, maybe he truly loved me. I spent many days torturing myself in anguish, then I suddenly realized what I had to do. I can't think about myself or about Angus or Laurent, but only about the baby. I have to do what is good for him and his future. I'll have to bear the remorse alone for my mistake, and this will be my punishment. But I already love this baby, and I know he will make me happy. Unexpectedly, Angus stopped going to the less exes every Saturday. He seems frightened. I wonder what's happened to him. His attitude has completely changed. Sometimes he looks at me as if he wants to apologize for something. Sometimes he seems to be asking for help. Suddenly, I remembered that once we were in love with each other. How could I have forgotten it? Maybe we can still start over. Maybe... I should write that down. Really? Okay. Maybe a cheat and a whore user can make up and be in love again, Samwise Jim G. Good! Okay, now I've got it. Uh, wow, yeah, if I do have to help these people, this is a pretty hardcore problem they've got here. What's that? Guards! Guards! I'm helping Guards! to make your boots go faster. Also, oh, that's yeah. How's it going, lady? I read about your illicit diary writings. Don't care about your pregnancy or nothing but your diary writings. Whoa. Don't want that book to end up in a sewer. Oh, that's right. Remember that one time when I had a cold and I did a mission and I was like, <laughs> oh, reading, oh, <laughs> etc. Remember that one? Good. This is the reminiscing episode. Hey, lady, you want to reminisce with me? Uh, but I'm not interested in giving you yet another illicit. Ch also, you're not pregnant, so I guess it either happened already or... There's no pregnant model. Or you're not her. Maybe you're just an actual humble maid. A actual humble maid, yeah. I'm even gonna let you not have a concussion because I, I feel bad for you. Unless, of course, you're the wrong person in which case. Hmm? Guards! Thief! Don't Skip. let him escape Boop. Skip. Boop. Don't let him escape justice. I just remembered also, I forgot to get the brat. I forgot to go to the bink bank. Or so, oh no, it's going in circles. Good lord. Or the, 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 whatever the building is. The, wherever the heck I was going. The police station. I forgot to go to the police station. Right. Ooh. Right, lady? Right. The police station is where I belong. So. For some reason. Maybe there's, uh oh. Good. Maybe there's a, a secret passage from this house? I don't know why the ladder was in that guy's room. In statement. Uh-oh. Whoa. Okay. That was skill in predicting the future. No easy to turn off lights here. I... Oh. Let's see. Better be quick. Oh. <laughs> the four up in the house. Also, maybe she really is pregnant, but just in the early stages. I mean, God. I, as a humble, not woman, just don't know anything about having a baby and what you look like when you do it. Just, honestly, it's just, just people just like start going like, hey, I'm just like 11 months, 11 months, 11 months pregnant. See, I know everything. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey, finally, I kind of wasn't expecting gold to be existent in here. Oh, hey. Awesome. 
Awesome, I just went out of wind. Uh oh. Did, did you say something? Nah. You, on the other hand, will never be pregnant. You don't want to know why? Because you're poor. Haha. <laughs> also, when you're a maid. Oh, wait a minute. This door isn't even real. How fascinating. I wonder if that is the Easter egg area. No. I'm just going to be like that. Those head and time videos that I didn't put up because I didn't put them up. Please don't hurt me. Help. Help. Eh? It's like a real house and everything. Yeah. Anyone there? Huh. Interesting. Kind of. Well, I don't know. Anyways, now. <sighs> Thought I heard a, a watcher. No, now where the hell am I? Hell, I think I might be in like familiar territory or something. I can't have gone that far. For, oh, no, no. God damn it. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. I'm going to close it back up so I don't remember I took it. <laughs> He's got to have some self done amnesia up in his. Come on! Come on! Get, get, get out of the water there. Get, 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 get out. It's my new rap song. I don't give a shit if you like it. Gosh, okay, now I'm back here. So I think... It's north. Right. It's this old compassy, compass, compassy, compass, compass. Not like another regular compass, but oh, hey guys, I'm mumbling again. Yeah, so if I just keep going around here forever, 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 uh, everyone loves magical forever. I should end up exactly where I was, so there's no point in anything. Uh oh. Right. Oh boy. Oh boy, lady. Probably take care of you, but hey. Oh, that brothel, yeah. Oh, it's evil, evil, evil stuff, so maybe, I mean, I don't know. This might be a little <laughs> obvious of a guess, but maybe the brothel is... Oh. Into stripping people naked, strangling them, and then murdering them into the river. Not doing anything else with them, though. Because it's just too cliched, you know? <sighs> Having illicit relations with someone after stripping them naked and strangling them? No, man, that's just disgusting. I mean, there's evil and then there's just vile. Come on here. What? <sighs> What's with your... S God, stop it! One tap and you're... <sighs> <laughs> lady, 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 lady. Oh my god. Oh my god, this place is like a maze. I don't know. I This is Venice also, I just realized. Look at this freaking river street going down. Oh, okay, so I don't want to go there. Where? Oh, silly message. I'm trying to go to the friggin' police station. What the? What the dick? <laughs> You know, I don't know. I get the feeling like the Seven Sisters was like less confusing, but maybe I just know it better. I don't know. Swan. This is Swan. But I never seem to get anywhere. Where's... What the hell? What the... Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Literally, Mosley. You didn't become Sheriff. An incredible shame. I guess the sheriff's got to be dishonorable, though. Whoa. Okay. Hopefully this is a way in. Yeah, just dump prisoners into the river. They got no more room in the cells, or they got no more cells left. Oh, that was a drumhead joke. Boom, ba, boom, boom, boom. That's not Sweet Leaf. That's a whole different thing. Oh, hey. Dan, do you remember Joey the Baker that we had in jail last night for big breaking the curfew? He came back this evening claiming to have lost his safety deposit box key in the cell. I sent him away saying that I have not the authorization, blah, blah, blah. Actually, I lost the cell key. The power went off and I wasn't able to find it anywhere. I only hope that it didn't slip into the sewers. Please take a look for it tomorrow morning before the taffer comes back. Chad. Chad is a country or something. I know a thing. 
To whoever's on duty tomorrow morning, go call an electrician. We don't do your damn thing down there. Loot collection, more like. Ooh, yeah. But I've already got a book chick, so I don't need it. But maybe if I put it together with my blackjack, they can have a child. Or, depending if they're different genders or not. I don't know. Hey, what? Whatever, man. They could teleport one in using a stork. Storks are magic. Uh, cell number one, Zack, well-known cut purse. Purse not on this. One black jook, two look picks, one empty purse, one message addressed to a certain Garrett. Oh, this is Zack, of course. I'm in here to bust Zack out. I thought I was just in here to have fun. <laughs> yeah, okay then. So, don't read this letter twice. Not twice. Also, hey guys, I took a screenshot. Ugh. Not a Chevrolet, but a screenshot. Not a joke, Garrett. I haven't managed to obtain the key yet. Meet me later at my home, 16 Grand Canal. I'm sure that I'll be able to deliver it to you, Zack. Apparently, it screws all up if you read it twice, so I ain't gonna do it. Yeah. So I guess I, that's what the address numbers are for, right? Uh, damn, Zack's not here. See if you can find him at his home. When you have the key, sneak into Mercuzio's home and, and uh, yeah, deposit box key. Others scattered around the corridor. Yeah. Okay, then. So somehow he escaped or whatever? I Okay. Save, read the letter again, and then reload. Okay. Okay, I don't exactly know what screws up, but I'm not going to find out. Am I now? Come on, mate. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, remember what it was like being in one of them cozy jail cells. Oh, the nostalgia ball. Which is a bath balm and a lip balm in one. Literal Mosley, you going down. Or are you? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, redheads, everybody will want a redhead to comb their hair and nothing else. Oh, man. Stupid. It's proper. <laughs> are you actually Mosley? No, Lieutenant Romilda Blake. Wow. <laughs> Romilda Blake. <laughs> you are Mosley's twin, and you have a different last name. All of these things are plausible, of course. Because people can change their last name, like when they get married, for instance. Because for some reason, I thought that, like, either Shigeru Miyamoto or somebody at Nintendo, Billy, not Billy, you know, Billy from Nintendo, made them who they are. But I read some fact about how. Uh, he gave up his last name for his wife's last name when he married her, but I can't find it again. It's like very unimportant info, but sometimes you're bored as hell and you just want to go find something that you remembered reading so that you can brag about how much useless crap you know. But, <laughs> whatever. Ah, oh, marriage. It sure is an interesting thing. Interesting though it may be, it doesn't matter at all in my life because who would want... Who wants a busted old thief anyway? I think that was a lot. Oh, oh, she gets an entire brightly lit office with all this loot to play with. Oh man. Citizens! Uh, yeah. Captain Joe Crook. Oh, he's a good man, Joe Crook. He's a good one. Whoa. <laughs> that guy, that guy's not Joe Crook. He's he's an imposter. Crook is, is a good man. Romelda, what I'm writing here is strictly confidential. For the umpteenth time, I have received an intervention request, both from the Hammerite High Priest Archibald and from Mr. Talbot about the house in St. Terence Walk. I know that you are a good friend of Mr. Talbot. That's why I feel it is my duty to give you fair warning. I can't ignore the Hammerite's plea any longer, and even if I did, they have stated that they will appeal to the city council if necessary. You know how much influence and power the Hammerites have acquired since the fall of the Mechanists, and you know as well as I do how things work. I will be forced to make a sudden inspection of Mr. Talbot's home, where I will be sure to find something compromising. I'll let you imagine the consequences. Therefore, for his own safety, there's only one reasonable thing to do. Convince him to leave the premises and sell the house to the Hammerites while he still has a chance of getting a good price for it. I repeat, this message must remain absolutely confidential. Captain Crook, just Joe for you, darling. <laughs> yeah. 
Report from Lieutenant Ramilda Blake to Captain Joe Crook, time 9.30 p.m. A man named Zack was arrested while attempting to pickpocket a woman in Marketplace. Unfortunately, when they brought him to me in order to interrogate him, he somehow managed to wriggle out of his restraints. He ran out onto the balcony and then he plunged into the canal below. Lester was quick to arm his bow and he was ready to shoot him, but I ordered him to stop. I don't think that a man deserves to die just for being a thief. An incompetent thief as well who didn't even manage to steal anything. I'm sure he wasn't the murderer we're trying to catch. If that was a mistake, then I'm ready to take responsibility and bear the consequences. The man's possessions were nothing of interest, just the usual thieves' equipment, plus a note addressed to a certain Garrett. That name sounds familiar, but I can't remember where I've heard it. Anyway, all this stuff is at your disposal in the evidence room. As a caution, since the taffer did us the favor of leaving his address, I sent two men to guard his house, but I doubt that he'll show his face around there for a while. Lieutenant Ramilda Blake, and not even bothered by his stupid come-ons anymore. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> what is up with this dude? What a disgusting pig slob. Unlike me, I am just in <laughs> Gloria, honey, you know that you're my only love, don't you? It was just a fling, nothing serious. She seduced me. I really, really didn't want to betray you. Believe me, sugar. <laughs> Come on, Gloria. You know you have your faults, too. You neglected me. You didn't care about my needs. <laughs> you, your dolls, and your teddy bears. You make me feel so lonely. <laughs> Damn it, Gloria. It's been three days. I've had enough. As soon as I get home, I'll tear down that blessed door and we'll just make peace my way. I... <laughs> oh, okay. Well, get more despicable pigs up in here. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. To Captain Joe Crook, Warden of Wayside District. Dear friend, to our great disappointment, you did nothing about the matter which was of such importance to us. You know how grateful we are to the city council, which has provided us with a decent arrangement enabling our return to Wayside after the fall of the heretics. But you also know that what was a temporary accommodation has become our permanent dwelling. Unfortunately, we are living in increasingly bad conditions as our community continues to grow day after day. The building we are living in is narrow and uncomfortable, and if that's not bad enough, there is no room for the brethren who work in our little factory along the Grand Canal. They are forced to sleep there amid the noise and heat of the machines. We were not asking for gifts. We just want to come to an agreement that will allow us to acquire Mr. Talbot's property. It would be perfect for us. With those beams already in place, we could build a gallery to access the rest of the Hammerite building. However, Mr. Talbot is not willing to consider our offer, and you haven't given any effort to convincing him. With much sorrow, I must warn you that this is my final request. I don't think I need to remind you how much respect and esteem our order has earned in this community. If you do not manage to find a way to expel the villain, I will be forced to appeal to the city council. A lost chance for your career. With regards, High Priest Archibald. So you just take a guy's house because it's convenient for you? Okay. Captain Crook. This is the third letter I've sent you, as I've had no response to the first two. I thought that you were the right person to complain to. I thought that you were the person in charge of maintaining order and justice in this quarter, but it seems that I was wrong. I can't bear this situation any longer. From the day the Hammerites took possession of the building in front of my house, I've had no peace. Their continuous chanting, their patrolling all along the nearby streets as if they are the owners of the entire block, and on top of all, that blasted enormous bell that they have to ring every hour, day and night. If that isn't enough, they refuse to tear down those big beams which run from the bell tower to my window, so anyone could easily enter my home, and in spite of having put grates on my windows, I still feel insecure. This is my last request. Next time, I will go to the sheriff in person. I'm sure that he will understand my problems. Regards, Mr. Talbot. Gloria, please! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I <laughs> probably don't want that. On second thought. Ooh. So yes, that's the police station. So I'm looking for 16 Canal Lane. Hey guys, I remembered it. Aren't you proud? Uh, did I go everywhere up there? I think I did. <laughs> it's the predictive, psycho-predictive water. There's a reference to, oh, I don't know. Thieves, no politics, land in the dark mode. You all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so Canal Lane, if I want 
Or I can try to go to the bunk. Sir Angus Morley, Wayside Bank. Delivery to the service store. So this is the bank. Where the hell do I get into the bank? I mean, I know I must be able to. There's deposit boxes. Where are you? Where the crapping Christ are you? What? What's go- uh, Whatever. Where am I? The bunk. So... Maybe then... But no, this is just that house that it blatantly said it was a bank, but now it's just an apartment? This doesn't make any sense. Like, look, the bank is... The bank is here. But if you go in this way... It's just a bleeding apartment. What? Why? Huh. Mm. Huh. Well, maybe you can't get in. Oh, well, I guess I'll try this place then. <laughs> because apparently you got to do the optional objectives. For the non-optional one, or else you don't ever get to do them in your life. So. <sighs> well, well, well. Well, well, well. A place. What have we here? Mr. Norden, congratulations on your purchase of our security system. We wish to remind you that it needs simple but regular maintenance to keep it in good working order over the years. If you're unsure of how to take care of it properly, we will be happy to send one of our employees to service it for you. We also wish to remind you that the security camera will only work with the lights on. We will not respond to any failure of the system if this simple rule is not obeyed. We are at your disposal for any questions or clarification at any time. Best regards, Harding and Pratt. Security system. Mm -hmm. well, that's not very secure, though. I mean, that's even less secure than normal. You turn the lights off and everything goes on. Your alarm, your clock, your vest. Also, I just sort of came right up in here and avoided security entirely. It's kind of hilarious. Alright, I assume there's going to be some camera. Ooh. But all I gotta do is turn the dang lights off over theirs. And they didn't even put nothing underneath the watcher. <laughs> so I'm just cheapy McCheapers in my way over here. Oh, those are not. Those are not the lights. The lights are over there. What? Wait. Didn't stop when I turned the lights off. Is it that is it that they're trying to say the camera doesn't see properly with the lights off or what? Only work with the lights. I don't know, man. Oh well. I'm a pro at camera dodging. <laughs> the NSA hates me. They just can't find me. Whoop <laughs> doop doop poop poop. Well. So I guess you just gotta run around and run around and run around and run around all the live long day. Camera will only work with the lights. Saw this. Oh, <laughs> that's the camera. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, it's a blatant door up there, but I guess most uncommon thieves, well, we're most common thieves. Most non-skilled thieves would not be able to climb up such a dainty dude hickey. Oh. Well, it's next to the police station, I guess, so who the heck would climb up there? <laughs> a stupid person, that's who. Oh. Alright, guys, I'm gonna do the last one now. <laughs> Because one night years ago, back when we had a dog in the family, uh, I was in my room at night working on some sort of, not a mission, but a doom thing on my computer, and it was a spooky doom thing, so it was late at night, it was dark, and I was all in like spooky kind of state. And uh, there was, there was a, uh, 
a dog in the family, and my door was open, and suddenly, the dog, all of a sudden, comes dashing down the hallway, as dogs do, they just run around on the floor, and <laughs> the floor is hardwood, so this dog's feet are click-clacking on the floor, and she's panting, all excitedly, but nothing, no noise had happened up to then, and all of a sudden I hear like this, <laughs> coming down the hall, which <laughs> <laughs> like some sort of horrific evil beast coming at me, and I screamed, and 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 then everyone in the house was like, "What's what's wrong? What's the matter?" I'm like, "I got this." Yeah, it was great. <sighs> Anyways, I'm great at storytelling. Hey guys, I'm not the best at storytelling. How's it going? Oh. Right. Well, that's number four, Serpentine. Yeah, well, Serpentine, how in the jungle? So, the new Jumanji movie came out. I mean, I didn't see it, but I, I know it exists. Jumanji, really? That's what they're remaking now? Uh oh. <laughs> that, that's all I've got to say about that. You know, I watched the original Jumanji recently. Holds up surprisingly better than I thought, actually. There's a few 90s moments of, like, sticking your face right up into the camera and making a stupid face. But, uh, surprisingly good. The CG was good for the time. Some of it was cheesy, but, uh, I don't know. 90s CG, even when it's, like, bad, they were trying. You could tell they were, like, trying to really get it right with the details and stuff, even when the it doesn't look realistic or whatever. They were trying, and nowadays it's like they're never trying. Nowadays, I mean, I, I ain't saying it's trivial. Obviously, it isn't, but it just it looks like they didn't try these days with CG. It's just like, oh, we got CG characters, and they don't move their skin right or their mouth right. It's just like all clay looking, and nobody cares, and they're just like cranking them out by the millions. Obviously, it takes more work than I'm making it sound like. I'm just saying that's what it looks like. But back in the 90s, even when it was bad, it looked like they were at least, you know making a real effort and like super into it. I don't know. Anyways, Pandora's coffer. Oh, not a coffin then. So Torque. <laughs> so it's just a race. It's not a not a, you know, killing you guy Burrick parade fest. Fine enough. So I guess I haven't looked at the market yet. There's <laughs> a guy with a big club, like why is he got a big club? So this is the inn. Dams, dinings, rams, rooms. Rooms. So maybe I don't gotta go to the inn or nothing. There's the cut your teeth up and your hair at the same time, guy. And here's... Oh, ho. A liquor store or something. That's a... It's a Jack Daniels bottle labeled. I don't know why I would know that either. I don't... I don't drink anything. Not water, not nothing. <laughs> but I can't quite read it. Apothique. Modern Apothique. Drogerie. Oh. Okay, <laughs> well still. Do I have a Drogerie key, Zach's home? Seven. I don't know. Oh. This is the hammer place. And it's got mechanist tech for some reason. I guess that's the lay house, and they're like, oh, these lay houses. We don't like them. I mean, we like them, but we don't admit it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just go to Canal Lane then, and um, I don't know. I don't want to <coughs> hmm, follow the story too closely lest I progress or something. <laughs> You know what, though? The first time I looked at the Seven Sisters map, I'm like, Oh my god! This is crazy. So... I don't know. I feel like this is a bit... It's hard to tell a street from a not street, sort of. So I can't go to the Akbunk. It's right there! If that's not a bank, why is it an apartment? Oh, how can a bank be attached to an apartment? Why would you do that? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, what's up with that guy? He's just the obligatory officer with a big club. I mean, what's his deal? <laughs> all in all, it's a real sweet deal. See this? 
See this gun? Bam! Jump <laughs> over. I guess I could just cross the bridge like a normal person. Crossing the threshold of a flop. Oh, it's a flop. Oh, it's a serious measurement of speed. It's a flop. Let's eat three apples for dessert, but leave the other three for later, because, hey, it's winding road. All roads are winding roads in this place. Oh, oh, oh. Fine, 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 fine. If you actually start to look at the map closely, you can start to see things. The statues are a little bit creepish. Okay, now I'm over here. I think then I could loop around. Hmm. That way or this way? Maybe I'll go this way just for a change. Probably gonna regret it. Hey, nice skirt, bucko. Oh, these must be the guards, or one of the guard around Zack, except not at all, because, uh, not at all. <laughs> it's, it's not 16, it's 24. Oh. Wow, you just can't jump these things, except sometimes. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. Huh. Never mind that, then. Did I say I would see you go? Oh my god. Welcome to the unexciting portion. Welcome to the boring part of the video. Well, welcoming you to it. I mean, it's been happening for quite a long time now, so. <laughs> well, this is some sort of canal passage, I think, is what it says. So, hopefully, this search. Will not have been in vain or something. Oh, wait, this is Grand Canal and this is 12, so. Did I go in the dressmaker's place through that window already? I don't know. Whatever. So, 16 shouldn't be too far away then. You'd think! One. These addresses are bunk. They're bunk. Wow, that was a statement. So maybe the numbers are just. They're not numbers per street, they're just numbers. Period, in which case. 18. See, you'd think I'd be close now, wouldn't you? 17? Oh. 16. Good. But wait. Is that that pl- Wait, I've been in there. Of course, because I remember that- That guy downstairs, Zack, and all that. That's right. It all makes sense now, and this door- Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Anyways, what's your name, darling? Oh, I can be super creepy when I'm not playing. Oh. Are you gonna have a robot she-beast in your basement? Because if not, I ain't even bothering to deal with you. Something ain't right here, though. Yeah. I'm just gonna rob from you. No sweat. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> but I'm gonna rob him anyway. He would have wanted it that way, I'm perfectly sure. Not at all sure, but gonna do it anyway, because thieves, thieves. <sighs> I hope there's no African bats. <laughs> or any bats, really. Garrett, no doubt you have managed to enter my home and found this hideout. As I'm sure you'll understand, I won't show my face around here for a while. I'll stay at my girlfriend Sally's. She works as a maid at the Merry Widow Inn. Go there later tonight and knock on the shutters next to the inn's back door. I promise, tonight you'll get the pharmacy key. Sorry for the setback. I hope you'll find a way to kill time. To make up for the delay, I'll give you a tip. A jeweler named Nolan arrived at the inn a week ago. He hired the only room with a safe inside, and this means a lot. The room's number seven. The inn is closed at night, but knowing you, I'll bet that you'll find another way in. Good luck, Zack. Okay. Mary Widow, go there and knock on the shutters later tonight? How much later? I'm starting to lose patience. Really? <laughs> Damn, this affair is really testing your patience tonight. To make the mate, w mate w w w to make the mate more worthwhile, scattered six thousand loot. Somebody had a worthwhile mate up in this story. Zach's suggestion sounds interesting. Find a way to sneak into Nolan's room at the Merry Widow Inn. Uh, once all your objectives are fulfilled, go to the back and knock on the shutters. Oh, <laughs> you blessed key! 
When you have the key, don't kill anyone. Right, right, right. Well, okay, that's it for today. So see you guys next time. Bye for now. Ooh.